Today, we're checking out 93 things in Minecraft you didn't know existed. Water Number changes one. color depending on the bio. But in bedrock I did know that. it gets even stranger. If you well, can how? mix water in the nether, it'll be red. Okay, wait a second. That is so cursed. If you put water in the nether in bedrock condition, it actually turns red, which should never happen. It's impossible to ride baby animals. Psych. When baby pigs really? were first added to Minecraft, you could saddle them up and okay, ride them. Okay, that is no, not clicker. right. Okay, you I should not be able to do that. Removed. Illagers love to kill villagers, but they actually of have a wholesome side. Illagers will avoid killing the baby. Oh, that's nice. I mean, Minecraft is owned by, uh, you know, Mojang and Microsoft, so it makes sense that they probably shouldn't kill babies. That would be kind of sad and scary. You're safe today. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can use diamonds <laughs> as fuel. If you uh, just wait, try what? to put diamonds in themselves, it won't work. However, jukeboxes huh? actually cost one diamond to craft, oh. and those can actually be used as a fuel. That is such a waste, though. Yeah, what you would should a never do that. Like without its shell, just throw a potion of invisibility to see. Uh, okay, that I is. See so creepy now save your old bows if your bows are running low on durability don't throw them out Instead, you can burn use them. them to craft oh, dispensers oh, because you can dispensers. use any durability bow for them there are Smart. two crops that can grow in the dark normally shutting the lights off won't let crops grow How okay wait a second wait actually if you turn out the lights all the crops will disappear I didn't know that. However, both sugarcane and mushroom that's real. can grow in pitch black. You may know that dispensers can place pumpkins to spawn golems or even skulls to spawn withers, but they could place another secret block. Up to version 1.8.5, dispensers oh, command can place blocks. command blocks. Really? Most fish are pretty boring. Salmon have a superpower. When near a waterfall, salmon can swim up to five blocks of water. They that is sweet. That's kind of like real life when salmon swim upstream and they can even jump out of water and that's why you see a bunch of grizzly bears trying to capture them. They're better swimmers than me. Minecraft's recipe book has a secret easter egg. If you search excited ZE in the recipe book, it changes the game's language to pirate language. <laughs> How do I change this? I didn't know about now? that. Note blocks can play different instruments. To do so, just change the block underneath it. Wood creates a string bass. Sand creates. I feel like everybody drum, knew this. Creates clicks and clay creates flute sound. Well, comment These down below if you didn't know different that. Different options. If a charged creeper is given invisibility, the blue aura can still be seen. So if you stack that's a bunch probably of them for the best. Each other, you'll get this beautiful beam of light. I you do may like know that. About that is pretty cool. The grass block, but did you know it has a secret twin? If you place snow on top of mycelium, it ends up looking just like snowy grass. Uh -huh. Oh, and you can even see beneath really? it by using a debug stick. Most huh. people don't know this, but rabbits can actually eat crops. I don't mean handing the rabbit over some carrots, but if you leave your crops out in the what? open, rabbits can just walk over to it and munch it down. <laughs> Foxes can also do this with berry bushes. This is the That's most crazy in all of Minecraft. It causes Why? everything to repeat forever. The what? trees and islands, glaciers, okay, ravines, that's actually it kind of cool. On Java 1.15.1 on this sea. How many striders can stack on top of each other? When striders were first added in the 1.16 snapshot, there was no limit to how many striders could spawn stacked. This made it so you could find even quintuplet striders. What? When you put a lead on the bottom one and got on the very top one, it'd cause you to start flying That's upwards. That's awesome. Unfortunately, this is no longer possible. Oh, they should have left that in. Only spawn in stacks of two. Vertical slabs are in Minecraft. By placing redstone blocks on either side of a stone wall and TNT on those blocks, the wall will stretch to look like a vertical slab. What? Although not too practical, it's still pretty cool. Don't go near igloos. Well, at least with the bad omen effect, because what some igloos can be detected as villages. This can happen if you kill really? the zombie villagers beneath the igloo. Ah, oh, I don't have any okay. items. If you look at the bottom of a shulker shell, you'll see a unique spiraling pattern. But what's stranger is that a similar spiraling pattern is found on the bottom of ancient debris. Maybe oh. that's why the shulker shell is so dumb. Oh, that Most makes items sense. crafted with wood use the oak texture, but not all of them. Item frames and fletching tables both use birch, while cartography tables and grindstones use dark oak. Then there are barrels, which just use spruce. When you kill a strider, it for some reason drops string. But there's actually- Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. When you look at a strider, it has like the string-like hairs around it. So, I mean, it really doesn't make that much sense why you wouldn't understand it. Like, it's like saying if you, you know, had a zombie and it didn't drop rotten flesh, you would be really surprised by that. But a strider, of course, it's going to drop string. It's like the hairs that are around the strider a really good reason for this. They dropped string to explain how piglings crafted their crossbows. In Bedrock I, I Edition, mean, yeah. there are unused texture files named Hoglin Meat Raw and what? Hoglin Meat Cooked. They're textured identically uh, to raw and cooked beef. Maybe they were originally supposed to drop a new type of meat. Wandering traders would make always sense, drink though. invisibility potions at night, but if you kill it mid-drink, there is an 8.5% chance what? that the potion will drop.
I didn't know about that. Uh, the first time I saw a wandering villager, I actually thought that my game was bugged, and I didn't realize that it just drank invisibility at night, but I didn't realize you could actually yoink it and steal it. Thanks. That's Give so cool. That. Did you know it's impossible to breed polar bears? It's huh? one of the few animals that can't be bred, so you can only find cubs naturally in the world. You oh, also wow. can't breed dolphins, which is quite a shame, because yeah, I would why? love a dolphin army. Dolphins I wonder why they made it like that. sea creatures because they can drown. Dolphins can't stay underwater for more than four minutes, or they'll take damage. And they can't stay outside of water more than two well, minutes. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, well. they need to breathe Make up oxygen. Your mind already. You can actually send redstone signals through leaves. When wood gets attached to leaves, it actually updates the data. This is especially oh, sweet. useful for sending signals upwards. This can also be done with walls because pushing a block to the side will update oh. all the walls beneath instantly. I stairs didn't know are able that. to shape That's shift so to cool. create smooth corners. But it can also be used for wall staircases that perfectly yes. blend right back into the wall. If True. you're trying to make a cobblestone generator and keep messing. Up. Just use a mangrove root. When you put water in roots, it acts like a container. This way, oh. you can easily create a cobblestone generator. See, I never played Skyblock in this version of Minecraft. So if you are playing Skyblock, just do that. It makes it so much easier. Minecraft used to generate two block tall obsidian walls around spawn. The walls would intersect at the center of the world and were added for experimental purposes before coordinates were added. This is the most valuable Minecraft account. The account Deadmau5 has 3D year models coming out of the skin. It is completely unique. And was a oh, nobody else has that? Minecraft. No. Really? Something pretty satisfying is that a button perfectly fits on a dropper's Okay, no. alright, I'm this never gonna be able perfect. to unsee that. Gassed fireballs deal the most damage in the game. When you hit a fireball back at the ghast, it'll deal 500 hearts of damage to it. This is- 500 hearts of damage? Wait, what? Because Mojang wanted the ghast to instantly die if the player successfully rebounded the fireball. There is huh. one place the trap chests can generate naturally in Minecraft. You may think they are found in desert pyramids, nope. or even jungle temples, but that's not it. The only time trap chests generate naturally is in the fake and portal room in Woodland Mansion. Yes, I did know that. Flesh. I've seen them before. Rotten flesh is almost completely useless because it gives you poison when you eat it up. But if you feed it to your dogs, they'll be perfectly fine and heal up. Beacons That's like the oldest Minecraft trick in the book. Just save your rotten flesh for your puppies. Work if they have blocks in the way. So it shouldn't work in the nether, right? Not exactly. Because Mojang wanted it to work in this fiery dimension. So the beacon beams can actually shoot through bedrock. You probably oh, know that placing sand on top of TNT makes it explode underwater. But yes. something lesser known is that other falling blocks work as well, like the dragon egg. Weighted oh, pressure plates huh. can be held down by item frames. If you place an item frame and then a pressure plate, nothing will happen. Okay, that is just so glitched out. That, that li Like, literally, how do they not remove that from the game yet? First, but if you walk over it, the pressure plate will stay down. It Things looks so bad. When you steal from them, if you mine gold or even just open a chest, they'll come swinging at you. But something strange is that they'll even attack you if you even just open an ender chest. Hey, these yes, are that mine. did happen to me. Before. You rename a chest in an anvil, something really cool happens. The inventory inside will be labeled. You can also yes, rename a true. command block with an anvil, and it'll output from the respective name. When you sign a book, <laughs> your username will be attached to it, but by using commands, you can set the author to anyone you want. It even works with Notch. One of the yes. least known Minecraft versions is the Pi Edition. It was made to run on small <laughs> computers like the Raspberry Pi. I do remember this edition. Feature. Quartz blocks were added to this version before they were officially added to Java. Pi yeah, there's so many different versions of Minecraft. I remember that the uh, the Pi version was an interesting one. Obviously, I played on Java, um, but Bedrock Edition used to be so much different than it is now. Here burns wood, but not this one. Note blocks are made out of wood and redstone, and it can catch on fire from lava, but never burn away. Have you ever wondered huh. how spiders climb walls? It turns out that in the game code, spiders treat all walls like they have ladders on them. This makes a lot of sense. Oh. Everyone knows huh. fire burns forever on netherrack, but yes. there are four other blocks this happens on. The first two you probably know are soul sand yep. and soul soil, which yes create an eternal blue flame. The third block with infinite fire is actually magma. That blocks. one makes sense. And the last one that is a bit more unknown is the bedrock with crystals in the end. Why what? Why were added to Minecraft? Huh. You may think it was for celebrating birthdays, but that's not it. They were actually added because Minecraft won the Indie Game of the Year award in 2010. Rabbits move by jumping up and Wait, down. Wait, but why, why, would they, why would they add cakes for that? I, I guess it was a celebration, but I mean, there's like so many other things you could have added to celebrate that. However, when you put them on top of slime blocks, they become stuck. They can't move at all. <laughs> Even if a box really? comes for lunch. Minecraft what? is famous for its blocky 3D world, but what if it was 2D? Well, YouTuber Mysticat actually created a 2D Minecraft world using data packs and plugins. There's yep, I think I've actually played this before. Super cool, and shout out to Mysticat, who is an amazing creator. Everything from parkour, zombies, placing blocks, and caves. Awesome! You can create a working mirror, sort of. Just place pigs on some stained glass, and then on the other side, 
right? You can place the pigs on top of barriers, then name them Dinner Bone. This will create an illusion of a mirror. Silverfish used to be allergic to soul sand. In versions before 1.15, the silverfish's hitbox was a bit too low and would suffocate in the slightly smaller huh. soul sand blocks. Once Interesting. Smallest... I feel like that would have been cool if they kept that in, just as like an Easter egg that, you know, silverfish just can't survive on soul sand. Mob, I used to think it was the baby chicken or even the puffer fish, which is only 0.35 blocks big, but they're both not even close. The second smallest mob is the baby turtle at wow. 0.12 blocks, and oh, the first so smallest cute. mob is the tadpole at 0.08 blocks. Baby wow. mobs in Minecraft are normally friendly and don't do damage, but not baby polar bears. They're still ferocious and they try are. to kill foxes and baby and zombies too. I wonder if it'll attack me. Whoops. Obsidian Yo. takes forever to mine with even a diamond pick, but how long does it take with a fist? One obsidian takes 250 seconds to mine by hand, but I've if there it. is an elder guardian nearby, it'll take about 25.7 hours. Darn it, let me- Who tested that? Me out of here. If you break the bottom of a chorus tree, all the other blocks will break, including the flower at the top. They should add that in so that it happens with trees because that would save a lot of time. And if you don't want to build all the way just to break the flower, you can actually shoot arrows at it or even throw a trident to get the flower. Now I can grow even more chorus trees. In Minecraft in depth, before crafting tables were added, how did players craft? Well, you could actually just press the B key to bring up the crafting grid. That's oh. cheating. Why are gold tools huh. so weak? Gold is harder to find than iron, but still seems way worse. The reason for it this is. is because gold is a soft metal in real life. Alex and Steve can change height and bedrock addition. Just go into the what? character creator where you can select the smallest height. This seems overpowered in PvP. What would um, touching yeah? a creeper feel like? Huh. Well, Notch, the original creator, said that a creeper in real life would feel crunchy, like dry leaves. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> villagers can actually wear what? armor if you use a dispenser. Doing so will let you put thorns on a villager or even a pumpkin. However, if the villager turns into a zombie, it disappears in Java Edition. No, huh. my pumpkin! Before Pumpkin's version 1.15, you could use the Silk Touch book to mine things, and it'll actually work saving you tool durability. This could also be done with a fire aspect book to light mobs on fire. That is kind of a cool thing to have where the actual enchantment book has the enchantment that you're going to put it on or whatever weapon that you're going to put it on. So I kind of wish that they kept that, but maybe they just should have added durability to the book. Maybe like a one or two time use. If you're feeling a little cold, this will warm you up. Just slap a bed down inside a pool of lava and you won't <laughs> take any damage. And while being warmed up, just make sure you get out quickly. Ouch! Hot, hot. <laughs> On Halloween, zombie skeletons, zombified pigmen, and wither skeletons can sometimes spawn wearing pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns on their yes, heads. Yes, dude, you it's so cool when you find one. snow golems and iron golems, you need a carved pumpkin, but another secret block actually works. You may really? think it's the normal pumpkin, but that surprisingly doesn't work. Is the jack o lantern is the jack o lantern yes. This is a shield spear. It was created by McMackenstein. Also another amazing creator who has created some awesome things that I've actually used in videos, so check out his channel. And protects you by surrounding you with shields. When mobs come and try to attack that you, is so the sick. swords are spiked outwards, not letting any of them get you. Wow. One of the best ways to hide your base is underwater because very few people actually check here. To make True, sure underwater as well as in snow blocks because you can add in snow blocks that you could just like fall through and then nobody would know where to look. Sure, no one can find it. Choose a spot that has a lot of seagrass and hide the base around the corner so no light goes through. Super secure and efficient. Pigling bartering is super overpowered, but it's so yeah. slow. Luckily, Bedrock Edition pros found a way to speed it up by a hundred times. All you need to do is grab a sticky piston and a gold block and hook it up oh. to a super fast clock. Then when you drop the gold, the pigling will pick a piece of gold up every oh. time the block moves, giving you supercharged trading. That ah, is finally, really weird. Infinite gravel. Just what I've always <laughs> wanted. Villagers can be very smart. They calculate the perfect paths to escape zombies, but you can also use this against them. By creating a pathway in the sky, the villagers will try okay. to run away from the zombies, but will be stuck in a loop. You can make all <laughs> sorts of pathways to make the villagers go crazy. Occasionally, piglins <laughs> will try to hunt down hoglins, but most people don't know their secret ability. Piglins have a small chance to celebrate and dance after successfully what? hunting down a hoglin. You can also is that an actual thing? And you'll start dancing too. <laughs> this is the meanest way to That's trap awesome. villagers. By placing a honey block and then a cauldron on top, any villager inside of it will be stuck for all eternity. Well, Whoa. until you let them go. Most of the time, name tags are needed to rename mobs, but you can use an anvil to True. rename an axolotl bucket, and it'll oh. rename the actual axolotl as oh, well. Oh, that's kind of so neat. The most cursed block in Minecraft is probably the petrified oak slab. It looks just like a normal oak slab.
slab, but has to be mined with a pickaxe and won't burn. Minecraft dogs okay, that's kind of weird. Early. So this developer decided to give them a slight buff with a data pad. Just throw an enchanted golden apple to supercharge your dog, and it'll slice through all your what? enemies. What? Just a slight buff, nothing too. Okay, I gotta get that thing. Sure that thing was awesome. Enter your bases by using alternating fence types. Mobs won't be able to get through, but you'll be able to just walk around. How do you okay, that's overpowered. Gaps without jumping. You may think I'm using speed or ladders to cross these blocks, but I'm not. By turning your head 45 degrees and walking diagonally, it actually makes you just fast enough to walk over block gaps without jumping. Huh. Slimes so you glitch out the game. around almost too much. To punish them for their sins, you can turn them into volleyballs using iron golems. Just place two big <laughs> golems like this, and they'll smack that slime back and forth forever. It's an epic That's awesome. automatic volleyball. I also didn't realize that iron golems can't go over rails for whatever reason. Minigame. Try it on your friends, too. A classic way to torture the Enderman is with rain. In spectator mode, you can click on the Enderman to see its perspective. Each time it rains, they have to teleport all around the world to find a safe route. Ooh. Creepers love to explode, but with this machine, you won't let them. Lead a creeper in huh? the spot, and when it tries to explode, the trapdoor will get in the way and cancel the explosion. <laughs> this machine makes me nervous, but it's also so... That's so sad! You can literally keep a, 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 a creeper prisoner forever, and it's going to explode, and then it doesn't explode, and then it's gonna go explode, and then it doesn't explode. That's like torture. So satisfying. Are you kidding me? If you don't want this to happen, there's an amazing trick you can do to make your chest invincible. Just waterlog them. And even if you set off a million explosions, your loot is going nowhere. Slime cubes and magma cubes can be any size you want. Just adjust their what? size commands. And you can have one that's as large as your world. But watch out, because the larger they are, the more damage it deals. Oh, Faster okay. it moves and higher it jumps. Run I mean, that makes it. sense. How do you die in spectator mode? Mobs can't attack you and TNT doesn't move you. So how? There are two ways. If you fly all the way down below the void, you'll meet your end. But also, you oh, can just okay. use the slash kill command, but yeah. that's cheating. To prevent players from destroying your security house, use this. Elder Guardians give mining fatigue to all players in a okay. 50 block radius. So anyone trying to destroy your beautiful builds won't have a very good oh, time. Well, oh, that's smart. TNT. Gosh darn it. Dogs are normally man's best friend, but sometimes they make mistakes. Teach them a lesson by jump scaring <laughs> them with a skeleton. Then when they run to the other side, a block is shoved in their face <laughs> and a skeleton appears on the other side, causing it to run back and Dude, forth. Most that's like the creeper one. It's torture. Sink to the bottom of the ocean because they're so heavy. But did you know they'll never drown? This will make never? them stay stuck in the deep seas oh, for the I rest of that. their lives. Iron golems have another superpower. They also don't take any fall damage. So you I can didn't know that one. A mountain and they'll be They're made out of iron, fun. so I mean, why would they? Well, it's actually in this water barrel. If you surround it with the other decorations, it'll blend right into okay, the Okay, that is the most barrel. overpowered enter, secret base right ever. Click the trap door that is the so good. Close in on your way down. No one is finding your base here. Minecraft almost had lore. Back in 2014, Dinnerbone created something called the Ultimate Land. This would include the entire game's story and would involve the Dragon Egg and Endermites. But when he tweeted about it, he mentioned he hasn't discussed it with the team yet. So it probably Aww. got rejected. One of the that best ways so to cool. not get raided is by having your base impossible to reach. By building your base at the world border, you'll make it so very few people will want to come attack I mean, you. And you yeah. can even build your base against the border for extra protection. You Dude, can... what? Like, who is going to travel that far to find your base? They would need to travel, like, hundreds of thousands of blocks. At that point, I feel like it's not even worth it. You can brew potions with a crafting table. By crafting suspicious stew, you can get nine different potion effects. The effect depends on the type of flower you use. Corn flowers result in jump boost. Alliums give you fire resistance, but one flower is special. If you craft the stew huh. with a lily of the valley, you okay. can give it the poison effect. This is because Ooh. the lily of the valley is poisonous in real life. When anyone oh, first neat. added to Minecraft, they could pick up any block, including bedrock and monster spawners. This could be abused and let players obtain illegal items in survival. It is possible to get your head through commands, so you can make a doll that tricks players into thinking <laughs> you're home. And he keeps looking from afar will instantly turn back thinking that you're still there. Back. Yeah, but I mean, like, for most people, you would see that the name tag wasn't there and that they're not moving. So I feel like, you know, for 95% of people, that probably wouldn't trick them. But it's still a nice little uh, thing that you could do to try to protect your base. In 2012, you could create obsidian farms. A simple way to make this was by making a normal cobblestone generator, but placing redstone dust where the cobblestone would form. I can see why this strange bug was patched. Bubble columns are one of the best ways to travel quickly upwards, but you can also create one of the deadliest traps with them. Oh, Just really? grab a bunch of harming potions at the top of the bubble column and then block it off with obsidian. And whoever oh. has to swim up next will be a goner. <laughs> By naming the villager Dinner Bone, you can flip it upside down. The villager can then be placed on top of a barrier block or iron bar, making it look like it's hung upside down by <laughs> Wait, that Once looks it's awesome. Night, a horde of zombies will spawn and the villager will be terrified. The villager That's won't so know good. the zombies can't reach it though. Screaming goats <laughs> love knocking players off cliffs, but most people 
people don't know that goats also attack armor stands. So oh, we can what? Set up a barrier preventing the goat from knocking huh. the armor stand off, and it'll keep trying for the rest of its life. <laughs> it'll even scream in frustration. It's target practice. Endermen hate water. But for some reason, if you put an Enderman in a water cauldron, they don't seem to mind. Once okay, they need to patch that. that. You can put a lava cauldron underwater. What? And if you go into it, you'll burn while underwater. Okay, By Mojang needs to watch this video and, and fix that. Water, you'll create regenerating walls. This will make it so everyone trying to mine through will have a very difficult time because the cobblestone walls will just keep on healing. Yeah, well, that's great in factions. Well, those are some Minecraft things you didn't know existed. That was awesome! If you guys learned anything, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below. Also, while you're down there, check out the original creator, and while you're at it, click right here for more Minecraft.